Welcome to our channel. As always, the most up-to-date news is ahead. Subscribe to the channel, like and share your opinions in the comments, we would appreciate it. So let's begin. Bill Maher, the host of the American TV channel HBO, compared the aggravation of the Western Russophobia with racism, he stated during the air of the program Real Time, writes the Daily Mail. During a conversation with the guests, Maher criticized the culture of cancellation, the mechanisms of which in the US and Europe are directed against the Russians. I get the feeling that in our country we are convinced that all Russians are bad and all Russians are bad. First of all, that's unfair. If they weren't white, I think it could be called racist, he said. This point of view was supported by the other participants of the conversation. For example, data scientist Kristen Soltys Anderson said that persecution of Russians has gone too far. She recalled that Russian wonderkind pianist Alexander Malafiev had previously been denied a concert in Canada. I don't like all these stories about the young Russian pianist who was not allowed to perform with the Montreal Symphony Orchestra because he's Russian, Anderson stressed. Another panelist, nuclear physicist and CEO of the Energy Futures Initiative Ernest Monish, criticized the West's decision to cut all ties with Moscow, though even after the 2014 relations crisis, the Russian NATO Council channels remained in place. As soon as the crisis came, we said we wouldn't talk. It doesn't make any sense, he complained. After the start of Russia's military operation in Ukraine, the West began to cancel Russian culture and ties with Moscow. Western organizations refused to cooperate with musicians from Russia. For example, the Munich City Hall terminated its contract with Valery Djurgiev, chief conductor of the Munich Philharmonic Orchestra. The Bavarian State Opera refused to work with both Djurgiev and the opera singer Anna Netrebko. The Royal Covent Garden Theatre in London has cancelled its tour of Bolshoi artists. Also because of the events in Ukraine, the Walt Disney Company, Sony, and Warner Bros. refused to distribute films in Russia. The boycott of Russians was joined by the Cannes International Film Festival, FIFA, and UEFA, and the International Olympic Committee.